my internet's getting a little squirrely again, mm. especially when I have important topics to talk about. So I'm going to take a break from those topics and talk about booyah stuff here. One of which has to be the unabashedly disaster that has been the day one launch of SimCity uh, 2013, or SimCity 5. Um, this is very much getting in line with the whole issues with Diablo. Hope you weren't planning on playing SimCity tonight. Maybe you bought SimCity today, or maybe you're hoping to fire it up after a long day of work. Maybe you've been waiting for this game for years now, and maybe, and you were psyched to finally check it out. Maybe you didn't mind the whole online-only thing, because you keep your PC connected to the internet 99% of the time anyways, and who really needs to play PC games on an airplane? So... You sat for an hour or two and ate dinner or something as you waited to, uh, for SimCity to download and install. When it hit 100%, you were stoked, finally. Then something went wrong. Maybe the servers just didn't authenticate. Maybe your friend list wouldn't show up. Maybe you got this message. Alert. Unable to create your city at this time. Please... Uh, please claim a city again. Lots of people got that message. Maybe you're infuriated. Maybe you wish launch day games would work on the day they were launched. Maybe you think this is unacceptable. You're not the only one. Link is down in the underbar, and basically this has me scratching my head going, Oh, really, PC gamers out there? Remind me again why PC games are so damn superior? Now look, I want to make several caveats here because, again, I don't want to come off as a PC hater. Hell, I'm making PC mods right freaking now. I may, I might actually even be trying to use my computer at some point to scoop up all these assets I've been spending my years of life modeling and create a game of my own. But that's a whole nother project, a whole nother time, and... Anyways, I don't hate PC, but that, then when stuff like this happens, when the DRM is getting ramped up to 11, when you have the always online connection, when you have to have it thought authenticated by the server, all I can think of is, because this is going to be a knock against both, welcome to the PS4 era. Now, granted, Diablo 3 had this problem as well, as well as many, many other problems. High-profile titles are getting drowned, getting absolutely ruined by the DRM, the always online connection, the uh, server authentication. Has nobody in this industry remembered the cluster screw that has been EA Games as well as Ubisoft, who also usually have an always on and has to be authenticated by the network, or you can't even play the single player offline experience situation there, where when their servers go down, your game that you paid, what, 60 friggin' dollars for becomes basically a disk spinning in your, your computer's uh, you know, disk drive there, unable to do anything because of these insane friggin' uh, countermeasures. Piracy. Eat me, industry. I'm so sick of you treating me at times as a legal and upstanding gaming citizen, like I'm either a potential pirate, which is going to be an interesting part of the theme of this uh, broadcasting night, or <clears throat> like I am a pirate, constantly punishing me for being the legally paying customer, instead of giving in to the dark side, or dark side to, to make the caveat, of piracy, where instead of having to go through all of this bull crap, I can just pop my disc in uh, with the cracked, I, uh, the cracked uh, EXE file and just play the damn game. That's why I play buy games, to play the damn game. 
And looking at SimCity 5, it looks like the uh, specs are something that my computer could handle, maybe even on the higher, more beautiful graphical settings. Though, I don't know. I'm not going to put it past this uh, system to not be able to handle that. I mean, heck, it's not even doing that great with uh, San Andreas, but that has more to do with the card manufacturer that I have installed in my system, Radeon, uh, than it actually has to do with the game or whether the system can handle it on some form or, or not. <sighs> I like that PC games give you a choice. You can go as graphically beautiful as you want, or you can dial it back in most cases so that you can play the game on your system, even if you haven't upgraded in quite a long time. Something that the people doing Aliens versus uh, or Aliens Colonial Marines probably should have done, because at least we probably could have gotten a halfway decent, beautiful game, atmospheric game from start to finish on PC, if they had left all of those high-end PC uh, filters, shaders, and textures in the game that we saw being played at E3. Yes, I'm still pissed off about that. And uh, as should most of you, that was a buttload of crap. Oh, we couldn't do this because it was made for high-end PC. Okay, well, a lot of PC gamers have high-end PCs or damn near close to it, and someday they could upgrade to a system that could absolutely handle what we saw on screen. But no, no, you decided to screw not just the console gamers, but the PC market as well. Mm. But now we have this stuff. Triple A titles that people who pre-order and get the, the the you know get the midnight launch copy can't even play their damn game because the systems aren't set up. Don't even get me started on our own infrastructure here in this country and its problems and its speed variances and everything else that also stands in the way of online only streaming DRM working. So it's not 100% the fault of the game makers. It's also our ignorant cable company saying, nobody wants fiber optic cable. Oh, one gigabyte worth of, uh, you know, one gigabyte per second speeds? Who wants that? No, you want, you want this, this tried and true thing that means that we don't have to get off our butts and do something. Damn, I hate this country at times and our, our lazy, can't-do kind of attitude when it comes to things that used to make us number one in this country, or in this world, excuse me. But this, this, I'm sorry, for all the advantage, all those advantages of PC gaming, and there is advantages. I'm not going to sit here and act like a, P, uh, a console elitist and act as if there's no reason to ever do PC games. There's plenty of them. And this video would be too long to list them, and most of you who already are PC gamers know them by heart. So, But if you can't play the game because of the security functions and everything else, then all of those advantages evaporate. Prove me wrong. How can, how can you play the advantages of the game if the game can't even play in the first place? And not because of hardware limitations, but simply because your thing can't be authenticated by the stupid, idiotic security measures that treat you like you're a potential criminal. Meanwhile, the pirates out there are, to some degree, laughing at you because they're already playing the game. Because they figured out long ago that if they're if you're if the gaming industry is going to treat you like a criminal, then heck, you might as well become one. Not that I'm condoning it. I'm just saying this is ridiculous. This is not the way that an industry should carry itself. And if nothing else, this just this makes me lose all hope on either market as far as gaming goes, because this is absolutely ludicrous unnecessary and and stupid absolutely stupid i'm hoping this starts breaking more people's backs in in terms of gaming i like sim city if i i would want to buy it but now i really don't want to buy it if this is the kind of crap that i'm going to have to deal with now maybe years in the future maybe i'll buy it and play it and enjoy it but for now 
screw that. you couldn't give me a copy of this game.